Hi, this is Charlotte at Bluebird Gardens on January 5th. It's 48 degrees in Rolla, Missouri, the belly button of the state. And I'm out here in my garden, just taking a walk, taking a look what's happening at my hives. Remember, we're going to leave the hives sealed up with propolis, so we're not gonna get into them, but we can peek under the lid. Now this doesn't look very good. Looks like I have a couple of dead bees there. I'm gonna make sure that this entrance reducer, oh my, more dead bees there. And I will take a stick and just remove those because I don't want them clogging up the small entrance. When I put the reducer on the smallest size, it's very easy for the bees to clog up the entrance reducer. That's not a lot of bees for this time of year, so the entrance reducer is going to go back on there and the on the single opening right there. So let's go take a look at what's happening inside the hive. And the only thing we're going to do is we're going to lift, lift up the lid and then I have a solid inner cover. Ah, there they are. They're at the top of the hive and they are obviously needing supplemental food because they are on the supplemental cakes I gave them earlier this year. Whew. I'm glad to see that. It's very unnerving to see the front of the hive with little to no activity this time of year. I'm dragging the bungee cord and strap over the top to keep the lid down when we have uh, winds here. And that's how you can check your hives this time of year. Just look under the lid and see if something's going on. Now this one, oh, that's a heavy concrete block. Okay, it has a supplemental sugar cake, but no bees. That means a couple things. The bees can be still on the bottom. This one had extra honey. Or this hive has perished this winter. So I really won't know that until later on in the season. 